It's made the pit stop, but the whole Walker car has yet to come in, but the pit stop window won't be open forever. Stretton and Keane together on track in cars 12 and 1. Well, one fancied around the outside, but you don't imagine that that's going to be left to, left there by Martin Stretton to be taken, and no, indeed it isn't. So, Tony Wood started the white GT40 with the broad red stripe. He's handed over to Martin Stretton. Stretton doing a great job, but Phil Keane, so busy in GT racing uh, these years, is now really, really pushing him hard. Getting a very good tow as they come past the pits. Better exit speed from the chicane markers. Yep, and uh, those cars are locked together. Phil Keane on the tail of Martin Stretton. This is fantastic. Two of the top drivers uh, in historic racing out there. Equally adept uh, Phil Keane currently in uh, modern GTs as well. So Sofa lapping quicker than anybody uh, above him. 22.8 also for Hadfield, who's now up to seventh. Uh, ahead of the Tim Harvey car, and uh, yes, look at that. Um, Sopa 22.8, Hadfield 22.8, Tim Harvey 22.8. Yeah, Frank Stippler 21.995, a little <laughs> further down. I said watch for him, of course, uh, Ella, Olivier Ellerbrock gave him really quite a job to do because he, he started on the front row, on a, uh, but uh, then slid back outside the top ten. But watch out, up into tenth place now, Frank Stippler in number three. And if you want to know what colour it is, it's black and white. 1.3 seconds between Hadfield and Harvey. Well, there came the move. Number one got past, and uh, Keane went up the inside, didn't have enough, but he break. He had to do some braking somewhere, and he somehow held it together, but uh, Incredible. he jumped Martin Stratton. Great, great move, but I thought that was going to win, end in the bushes. Walker starting to get suited up. Let's have a look at that re a replay. Again, the number one, the white car with... <laughs> with Phil Keane in it, going up the outside. Martin Stretton dives across his bows, and up the inside then goes Keane, but then he can't get the braking done, and somehow scrabbles just enough to keep the blue GT40 ahead. It's the battle for sixth place, but it might as well be for the race lead, gentlemen. Amazing.